Hey, this is Matt with Rush Scheduled Fun here. I have my uh, Ford 1910 I picked up a good couple months back and I'm finally getting around fixing it. This thing has is a non-runner. Uh, clutch, I think, is uh, frozen to the flywheel, rusted to the flywheel. It has a backhoe attachment. It has a loader attachment. Uh, fuel, like, Ever, zero maintenance done on this thing and it sat in a barn for 10-15 years and that's kind of why I bought it because it actually sat inside uh, you know and everything else can be fixed this is one size bigger I have a 1710 in the in the cave and yeah let's get to it so I've, I've been kind of messing with it off and on as I had time so the backhoe is off it also had an auger attachment but I just took the loader off and that actually is way easier it was a Ford uh, brand loader not like a Bradco or a Woods and it actually came off pretty easy there's four or five quick connects down here a couple pins and lift it right off probably the, one of the easiest ones I kind of wish I videoed it um, but I have another one where I did a 1700 where I removed the loader, and you'll see how much I struggled, and that was a Bradco. All right, but this, what we're gonna get into today is I've gotten it to start off of ether, just because I wanted to make sure it turned over, and, it can, and I'll run till it's out of the ether, and then uh, the fuel is just like trash. Um, I siphoned out about a gallon and a half, two gallons already, but there's still a lot left in the tank and it's like when I'm pulling it up the straw, it'll change from like red to dark red brown. So all of it's coming off and we'll probably have to order a filter and then we'll try and fire it up again. So let's uh, drain the rest of this fuel. Look at that nasty stuff. Well, I'm glad it's flowing out. If you see me jump, there, right behind me, there's my uh, C4500 dump truck that I uh, will be one of our next projects coming up. And uh, there's a wasp nest in there that I just sprayed. So it went from a red to now it's like an orange. I'm not sure, I might actually pull this tank. We'll look at it when, uh, when it's drained. I'm sure it's not rusty, but just to get that residue out. Look at that nasty stuff. Uh, so let's pour some uh, street diesel, the blue stuff, into it, and let's see if we can kind of maybe clean out the tank a little bit, and then we're going to take this off and see what that filter looks like and uh, see if someone local has it for a reasonable price. If not, we'll just uh, internet it. I hate wasting diesel like this, but there's no other way. Wow. Might have to pull this tank before we go any further. That's just black gray coming out. All right, well, that's just what's going to happen. All right, so I've just decided I'm not going to put a new fuel filter on until I clean this tank out. So let's get this tank out. So there's a half inch nut on both sides under here. There's this return line. 
um, wires for the fuel gauge and then this fuel line here so there there and there and this in here so this should pop off not too bad let's get to it yeah if you don't have uh, these ratcheting wrenches get yourself a set because these tractors they're up I don't know where they just designed to be worked on with uh, I hope if I went the right way. With just wrenches. Alright, so here, 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 and two nuts on the other side. Okay, let's snake this out. Right, let's get this apart. And let's Smokies that came off, or trying to at least. Clean this up and I will just get a new filter. Gross. Alright, hopefully that's a little bit better with lighting. But let's see if we can get these two tunnels out. So that went in all white, came out like that. Yeah, so a bunch of residue still in there. All right, let's put some diesel back through it and clean it out. Pretty good. Whew, bunch of trash. All right, so kind of hit a stopping point. I ordered a new filter and a bowl and the o-rings and stuff it was no local shop had it and they were like oh we can order it or i could just order it on the internet cheaper and get it sooner and uh yeah but this is what came out of that fuel tank that's gross so i'm gonna reinstall it uh same way it's nice and easy to put back in and then i'll bring it back on board when i get that f filter Hey everybody, it's Matt here. Uh, back, I finally got the parts, but I don't know if you can see that in there. I just started uncovering the tractor to uh, put the fuel filter on, and there is a yellow jacket's nest up there. So I'm gonna spray and run. Let's see if you can capture the action.
All right, so I am allergic to bees and wasps and yellow jackets and all that fun stuff, so... Um, eh, let's let it uh, chill out for a bit. All right, it's been a couple hours. I've sprayed a couple times, and there's one or two floating around, but let's get to this. Uh, so I'm gonna add some, turn it the fuel off, add some fuel, and then I'm gonna drain it just to see what comes out, and hopefully it's nice and green, and or like the blue green. So up in here, there's a, another get O-ring. So we're gonna change that out. Thumbs up. Filter. New big O-ring. So this is one thing I haven't found in these too often is the actual spring to hold it up. Now you're just gonna jam it back. Oop. So I ordered that online. Okay, so let's get the hammer and a screwdriver and we'll tighten that down. Okay, let's go get a uh, wrench for here to bleed it. Okay. 
All right, fuel's on, bleeder's open. Let's do some cranks. Low blow plug in. This does some pretty rank fuel. Expecting, I kind of thought this clutch was uh, frozen. The fly, the clutch was frozen to the flywheel, but must have broken free. And get it into first, second, third, reverse in one in the range of one. I think if that's how you say it. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to take. I, I think I'm just going to jack up the tractor, and I'm just going to move the wheels back and forth because. It seems like the shifter for the ranges is stuck. All right, well, it's running uh, better than I thought. So now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna worry about filters just yet. I know they're all old and could all be changed. Um, this thing doesn't even smoke a bit. 
Uh, once I got the good, better fuel in, or fresh fuel in it, rain awesome, or is running awesome right now. Uh, I'd say this is even quieter than my 1710, so that's interesting. Uh, full wheel drive seems to work, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to try and figure out really what's wrong with this tractor now. I think it's just kind of parked and forgotten about. Oh well. All right, well, see you on the next video.